Hello everyone, welcome to Review Infinite, the best product review channel on YouTube today. Today we're here again with another list of 5 best products on the market. These reviews are based on thousands of customer reviews and positive ratings. All the products are available on Amazon and we listed down their Amazon links in the description. Check them out for their best prices and to know which one is best suited to your needs. So cheers with the best one! Two years in the making. Introducing the 1412 from Laguna. Dynamically and electronically balanced cast iron wheels ensures vibration-free performance. The wheels are fitted with sealed bearings and covered by a single piece snap-on polyurethane tire. Laguna has long been famous for its pyramid spine, adding to the strength and rigidity of the 1412 frame. The ultra-smooth worm gear and pinion not only raises and lowers the blade guard, but is designed to stay within tolerances with no need for blade readjustments, even at its maximum extension. The quality aluminum high-low fence easily changes position. The trunnion is often overlooked in bandsaw designs. However, at Laguna, we believe it is one of the key components to a solid foundation where it all starts. The Laguna guides are engineered with no moving parts and 10 ceramic inserts for optimum blade performance. The table has a positive 45 degree tilt. An ingenious pivoting cap enables a negative seven degree tilt. square inch box with up to 12 inches of storage capacity? Of course you are! Today I'm going to show you how to make a bandsaw box using the Win 2 speed 10 inch bandsaw with stand and work light. We will also briefly be employing the help of the Win 12 and a half inch thickness planer and the Win variable speed oscillating tool. I started off by looking up other people's designs for bandsaw boxes online. Everyone else online demonstrated such creativity and showmanship with their bandsaw boxes, I couldn't wait to get started making my own version. First, I had to make a block of wood to construct the bandsaw box from. Because the Win 2 speed 10 inch bandsaw has the ability to cut depths of up to 6 inches, I decided to make a 10 by 6 by 6 inch block of wood as my starting point. If this is the size that sounds right to you, then grab 4 2 by 6s to construct your own wooden block. Next, while donning your favorite business casual, plane off both faces of the boards so they are nice and flat. After that, glue the faces of the boards to one another with liberal amounts of glue to make sure the entire face gets covered. Finally, clamp the boards tightly to one another and leave them overnight to dry. Once the boards are nice and dry, use the wind bandsaw to cut the slab into 10 inch segments. Now you have a nice 6x6x10 by by inch block of wood to work with. Next, draw or glue on the design that you want to cut out. For me, I chose a design that would be next to impossible to mess up. After quickly messing up my design, I decided to revise my plans to something even easier. A half circle. A few things for beginners to consider. First and foremost, understand the relationship between the width of the blade and the turning radius of the saw. If you don't think your saw blade is turning sharp enough, then you may need a thinner blade. 
Once you have cut out the box, the next step is to cut a flat piece off the back. Set this piece aside, as you will need to be gluing it back on at a later point in time. After that, it's time to cut out your drawer. For mine, I chose to slice off the bottom of the slab in order to have easy access to cutting out my drawer. To make your drawer, cut out a solid piece from the center of the block. Perfect! Next, set aside the rest of your bandsaw box and cut off flat pieces from both the front and back of your drawer. Finally, cut the center out of the drawer to allow for room to put stuff. Now it's time to glue everything back together. You should have three pieces for your drawer. The front, the back, and the base. Go ahead and use wood glue and clamps to put these back together, leaving out the middle piece in order to leave room for stuff inside your drawer. After that, glue the other components of your bandsaw box together. Clamp them and leave them to dry separately from the inside drawer piece. Once the pieces have had time to dry, unclamp them and then see if your drawer fits. Odds are, it'll take a little sanding in order to get it the right size. I used the wind variable speed oscillating tool with a low grit sandpaper in order to remove the excess material. After a bit of sanding, the drawer should slide perfectly back into your bandsaw box. Finally, using the excess scrap, make a little handle for your drawer. Carve out the handle with the bandsaw and then glue it to the front of your bandsaw box. Look at that cute little guy. Once the handle has a chance to dry, your bandsaw box is complete. And there you have it. Now you have a place to store all of your hopes and dreams, and maybe even a deck of cards. So remember, when you need a simple wood